Carlos, it's Carl. <laughs> yeah, Carl Yoda. Hey, how you doing? Jesus, good to see you. Sit down, have a drink. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about the mill. It's over 30 years since I shut down the 28. <laughs> I've been wondering how all the guys are doing. <laughs> we really had our own United Nations down there, huh? Hungarians, uh, Slovaks, Polacks, uh, Italians, Germans, Irish, Mexicans, Romanians, Russians, Greeks, Jews, Arabs, <laughs> you name it, we had it. <laughs> well, it got along real good, too. Yeah, it wasn't always that way, though. Uh, back in the 1800s, Bethlehem Steel was started by the Germans, and for the first 30 years or so, they held all the jobs. Well, then they started hiring the Irish and gave them all the lousy jobs, like uh, coke work, shoveling scale, stuff like that. Well, then another 20, 30 years or so, and the Irish move up and start hiring all the Slovaks and Polacks to do all the dirty work. Uh, funny thing, though, they, they called them all hunkies. Uh, didn't matter if they was uh, Slovaks, Polacks, Ukrainians, or whatever. <laughs> they were still hunkies. Well, unless they was Italian, then they was Dagos or Wops. Killed them off like flies, too. Didn't give a damn. What's another hunky? Well, then during the First War, they started to hire the Mexicans because they thought they could take the heat better. So they all got sent to the coke works. Now, the Irish, they became the foreman. That's why even today, no matter what shop you go into, there's some Irish foreman telling everybody what to do. And when the union come in, they put a stop to all that. I mean, they couldn't keep you down just because you was a hunky or a dago. Yeah. Lucky for me and you, Giannis, we had the union. I don't think I could have stood it the way it was in the old days. Hey, uh, you remember that Christmas morning? Must have been uh, 35 years ago. Uh, we were working day turn. <laughs> Seemed like we always worked Christmas. Easter, too. Anyways, uh, you were on the rough. Uh, Johnny Yatir was on the roller line and uh, Louis Silverstein on the strand. Well, Johnny looks over at you and he says, Merry Christmas, Janos. And then he looks over at Louis and he says, Merry Christmas, Louis. Then Louis says, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'll never forget it. He says, you know, Johnny, only in America could an Arab wish a Jew a Merry Christmas. <laughs> You're so taken in by it, you stop blowing the whistle like crazy. <laughs> the roller calls on the pier and says, what's that all about? So you tell him, Johnny Atiyah just wished Louis Silverstein a Merry Christmas. <laughs> then the 32-inch mill picks up on it, the, the 40 number one. Uh, then the pits holler down, hey, what the hell's going on down there? So they told him. They start tooting in the 48-inch mill, the 42, the beam yard. <laughs> Sounded like the day the goddamn war ended.